Hello guys, today I'm going to be drawing a sad portrait. Let's go. And if you have no idea what I'm doing now, these squares are called grids. They allow me to draw the outline of the face better and uh, accurately. Now that uh, we've drawn the grids, I'm now going to draw the main outlines of the face. And uh, to be honest, I really don't like drawing the outlines of the face. But thank goodness uh, we are done with it. Let's now get into the good stuff. Shading. I'm going to start with her eyes for this uh, portrait. Even though she literally has no eyes in this photo, but uh, you, <laughs> you get the point. And I forgot to mention, yes, I'll be using my HB pencil for the first layer of shading. And uh, now that that's done, we move on to the next step of the process, and that is blending. And of course, <laughs> there's no other tool that has the ability, the flair, the temerity to blend better than tissue. <laughs> oh gosh, I hate myself. I believe that's enough of the small boys. Let's move on to the mighty heroes to do their job. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> it's time for the charcoal pencils to shine. And because graphite is just so slow, we'll take things further and uh, blend with our charcoal powder instead. And by the way, yes, I found this new technique to blend with charcoal powder. You basically just uh, shade the charcoal pencil or charcoal block on a scrap piece of paper and then you rub your brush on the charcoal and use that to blend the skin. I'm pretty much beat now. That's a full day of work. I think it's time to uh, log off and shut down. It's a new day and uh, with fresh brains, rested fingers and uh, bright eyes, let's go in with full force.
at this stage i believe uh, we've done a good job with um, expressing the emotion the sharp emotion is really starting to show and that's exactly what we want that's exactly what i was going for and oh man we draw the hands trust me drawing hands is the last thing i want to do in this project sucks to be me right <laughs> but let's move on And well, the hands are finished, let's move on to the hair. And for the hair, hmm, let's just, let's just hope for the best, eh? <laughs> I've always wanted to do an expressive portrait, you know, a portrait where it's not just a pretty girl smiling, the common Instagram trends. This is one portrait that I really resonated with and it was a wonderful experience to actually draw this on paper. And uh, so, without much ado, the reveal. So uh, if you actually want to see a full tutorial where I talk about my process and my techniques for shading a face step by step, I would recommend that you watch the video on the screen now. You'll really be able to see how I'm able to create a realistic skin using just uh, graphite and charcoal powder. Watch that. Yes, that. And I'll see you in the next one.